everyone welcome to unify study so thank you for your love and support here yeah, last five years in this channel i am trying to provide you computer science free content free of cost and easy way easy way of explanation is here and now i have started this 15 days free crash course for gate 2025 this playlist already i have created yesterday i have uploaded one video for your planning Today we are going to do the number system. So I will suggest you try to follow this playlist. You can come to this channel and subscribe to the channel to connect it with us because so many computer science content you will get here in this playlist. So many playlists are there according to your requirement you can go ahead. But now I am focusing on this playlist where we will do exactly for 2025 what are the topics are most important topic if you did not learn anything. How to get the marks. So this video must was the first video. This is the second class where we are going to focus on gate PYQS on number system. See that number system to easy hai. Easy hai. Definitely easy hai. But here is most of the time confusion is coming in twos complement positive and negative number. And from there repeated questions are coming. That's why I am going to clear your concept in this type of question. When they are asking overflow. If you see this type of questions. 2000 this is a 2024 question. I have taken it from 2024. 2023 also this type of question is there. 2022 also. Every year they are asking number system questions. And they are focusing on this type. This is number system concept, right? I hope you already know that, but still this, uh, this question also I am clearing you that this type of base conversion, whenever they are asking, very easily you can do it because it is in base 5. So you can convert it. This type of question, if you have doubt, let me know in the comment section so that I can come to this type of question. Very basic. I am going to this number system directly for how to do overflow, underflow, how to understand this two's complement representation for negative number and positive number. How to solve this? This is the question you can see A and B is given where the overflow is happening for that. It is the answer. Definitely this is the answer. But how it is coming? Let me explain you so that from one question your concept will be clear. And you will be never confused for this type of two's complement representation signed and unsigned bit. See that. Here, first of all, whatever bit is, it is. Koiwe bit, 5 bit, 6 bit, 8 bit, 9 bit, whatever. Ultimately, you have to take the MSB. This one. Right, you are counting this number here. So, this one, this is the MSB. If the MSB is 0, then it is positive. If the MSB is 1, then it is negative. Ye to easy hai. Then what is the problem? Problem is here. Whenever it is a positive number, directly write the positive number. Whatever A value, this A value was there. You can see this is 0, means it is a positive number. This is 1, means it is a negative number here. You have to identify as this is a positive number, from this I can understand this is actually 10. Directly represent it, no problem. Just this is how to binary in binary representation. I hope you all know here 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5. Everyone knows that, right? So you can see that yes, this is 0, 1, 0, 1. So it is 10. It's simple. But what about B? This is the negative number. Now how to understand what is this? As this is the negative number, what are the steps? Whenever you got it is a negative number, just do the twos complement. For twos complement, what to do? 0 will change to flip the bit. 0 will change to 1. 1 will change to 0. Flip the bit, then add 1. This is the conventional way. I will tell you another way also that is more easy. I will tell you both whatever will be easy for you you can do that so here you can see this is 5 bit system i am taking this i am flipping the bit so i will get 0 0 1 0 right now after that just add 1 now it is in decimal 6 but 
as it was 1 means it is a negative number means this is minus 6. Another way also they are this is more interesting. Here just do last digit minus. Just do the last bit as minus. Normally we are writing right 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3 like that. So whenever I am writing this number what I will do this is 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4. This one I will write in minus. Minus 2 to the power 4. After that normally 2 to the power 3 multiply into 1, 2 to the power 2 multiply into 0, 2 to the power 1 multiply into 1, 2 to the power 0 multiply into 0. Simply you will get here minus 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 means it is minus 6. This is more easy and quickly you can solve in exam hall like this. Means just find out MSB is 1. MSB 1 hai to usko bas directly last bit ko last jo hai usko minus me karo and uske baad baki sa plus ho gaya. So minus 6, 10 you got it right. Now when you got it minus 6 and 10 now you can do the answer it's very easy. Now you know that a is plus 10 and b is minus 6. Now whenever I am doing a minus b for this also you need to know one thing that is the range. What is the range? For the positive and negative integer whenever you are doing two's complement representation whatever bit you have in bit your range will be minus 2 to the power n minus 1. 2, 2 to the power n. 2 to the power n minus 1. Minus 1. Here 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1. 2, 2 to the power n minus 1. What it is? Here you can see there is 5 bit. As there is 5 bit. So, it will be 2 to the power 5 minus 1. 2 to the power 5 minus 1 means here I am writing the range correctly so that there will be no not confusion. First I am taking example then I am coming to the formula. See that example is what? Here it is 5 bit is this right 5 bit you have. Actually in 5 bit what will happen? 2 to the power 5 means you can represent 32. Total 32 possibilities are there. But in this 32, 0, you have to divide it by 2 means 16 in positive part and 16 in negative part. So, 0 to 15, this 16 you are taking here and here minus 16 to 15, 0. Minus 16 to 0 is coming here. Then after that 0 to 15. Like this way try to remember. N bit means I can represent in 2 to the power N. 2 to the power N I have to divide by 2. Half of the part in positive number. Half of the part in negative number. But problem is 0 bhi hai na. 0 to bhi count karna hai. So that's why range will be what? 2 to the power minus 2 to the power N. 2 2 to the power n minus 1. Actually you have 5 bit means it will be to 16. So 2 to the power n minus 1. 2 plus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1. That is happening here right. So minus 16 2 plus 15. In this range only you can represent in 2's complement. Like this it will be very easy here. See that whenever I am doing a plus b I got it ki a equals to 10 b equals to minus 6. So a plus b means what? When I am doing a plus b this is actually plus 10 minus 6 means it is plus 4. Is it in the range? Range is what? Minus 16 to plus 15. If it is in the range there is no problem. Whenever I am doing a minus b what is happening? a minus b right so ultimately this is a is 10 minus minus 6 that means it is 10 plus 6 that is coming 16 plus 16 it is out of range 
I can represent till 15. It is out of range. Means it will take more bit. Actually plus 16 whenever you are representing. Then plus 16 you have to represent like this. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Here is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 5 bit here. 1 bit you require for the sign bit. You need it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bit is required actually here. That's why you cannot represent the range. Try to focus on range. Then it will be very easy. B minus 1. I can do it. If I am doing B minus 1. Then what is happening for B minus A. B minus A means. B is your minus 6. Minus 10. This is happening. So it is minus 16. It is in the range. Minus 16. So no problem. 2 multiply B. 2 multiply b. 2 multiply minus 6. So it is minus 12. It is also in the range. Only minus, only the plus 16 is not coming in the range. The easy way to do this type of question, try to find out the range. Positive number or negative number. Then whatever operation it is. Plus, minus, multiplication, whatever number it is. Just convert in decimal number. Check the range. Is it coming in the range? If it is coming in the range means there is no overflow. If it is not coming in the range means there is overflow. So your answer is this one. I hope you can do any question. I am showing you another question. And I hope you understand that how to do two's complement representation to get the number. Uh, what is positive? What is negative? Now you see. Tell me this question. How to do it? Here they gave, it is easy one, this is 2022 question. Here you can see 4 bit register. Here also again 2's complement representation. You are doing R1 plus R2. Now where is overflow? Think and tell me. Pause the video, think it. After that I am explaining you. No problem. Yes. Simple. Here will be the overflow. Same way. The range try to find out easy option. The 4 bit means what is my range? My range will be total 2 to the power 4 means 16 possibilities are there. 16 possibilities is there means I will do think like that. It is easy for you. Think like that 8. So 8 means I will represent minus 8 2 plus 7. 8 in positive part, 8 in negative part. So Always remember in the positive part there is 0 to 7 and in the negative part there is minus 8. So ultimately minus 8 to plus 7. It is easy to understand. Don't try to memorize. So minus 8 to plus 7 in the range. Now easily think it. What is this number? R1. R1 is here you can see it is 1. It is 1 means it is how I will represent minus this is, this is the easy format. Minus. Just do this. R1 minus. Then 2 to the power 3. Then this is 2 to the power 2 to the power 1. Means I am getting minus 5. R2 I am getting minus 2. So R1 plus R2 I am getting minus 7. Is it in the range? Yes. It is in the range. Because my range is minus 8. It is in the range. Next one. I am getting minus 4. And here it is minus 6. Is it in the range? It is coming minus 10. See that my range is minus 8. It is not in the range. That's why it is overflow. When I am coming here, it is coming 3. See that it was 0. That's why no need to take minus. Whenever 1, take minus. Whenever 0, then take directly 0. No problem. So 3 and 4, you will get here 7. After that, the next one, R1, whenever you are getting this one is minus 7, minus 1, minus 8. So, no overflow. Ultimately, you are getting overflow here. Because here this is coming minus 10. This is the way if you are solving this two complement representation. Easily you will get the marks. So, one question is confirmed. From here, you got the marks. Just let me know yes, clear. Now tell me it is a question for you. Very simple, very easy question. It is 4 bit. It is also previous year's question. 2's complement, binary representation. This is given. 
now tell me what will be the result and which one is correct let me know in the comment section and another thing is from the number system 754 i triple e 754 representation repeated questions are coming from this so i am uploading the video for 754 in this playlist only you will get the video today only i am uploading it so 754 concept first learn it how to represent 754 number system after that next class we will do the 754 representation question if you are interested but i will say this is little bit confusing area first i will upload video learn it if you are getting it if you are get showing interest then the questions we will do and another thing i will upload the other videos also here what are important as per yesterday's plan the dbms normalization dbms minimal cover those concept video also i will add here watch that videos and according to your requirement i am going to upload one by one video what is very important for your exam so that you can collect the marks i hope you will like this video like share subscribe and jitna bhi chaho share karo and stay tuned with unify study thank you bye give me the answer here definitely i am waiting for your answer and your feedback also thank you bye see you again in the next class